Yo, what up? Today I'm going to tell you how to make a free Minecraft server with plugins. So first you want to go to spigotmc.org. All links will be in the video description down below. And click the downloads button at the top. The next page looks a bit janky, but click the buildtools.jar link. Located under last successful artifact. There you go. Click on that shit. Yeah, baby. Press keep if asked. Create a new folder. I'm going to call it spigot. And drag buildtools.jar inside. Drag him. Drag him good. Make sure you have file name extensions enabled. Click view at the top of Windows Explorer and then check the little box next to file name extensions. Make sure you have Java installed as well. Go to java.com forward slash download and download the setup installer. Double click the buildtools.jar file and it will appear as if nothing is happening. This box thing will open for a little while and then disappear again. Don't worry, just wait. This may and probably will take a while. Just be patient. Look, files are being generated as we speak. Whilst you're waiting for that to finish, please consider subscribing and liking the video if it helps you. Every bit of support really means a lot to me. No, it, it really does. Thank you. Eventually, you will see a spigot.jar file appear in the folder. Create another folder. <sighs> I know. And I'm going to call this one server. Drag the spigot.jar file into this new folder. Double click it and you should see that more files are created. What is this witchery? Open eula.txt and change false to true like so. Next, right click in the folder and select new text document. Press ctrl a and type run.bat like so. It should then ask you if you're sure you want to change the file name extension and you press yes because you are sure. Right click on this file and press edit. Then go down into the description of this video and copy the code that Papa Johnny prepared just for you. Aren't you lucky? And paste this into the run.bat file. The only thing you might want to change here is the XMS and XMX values. The more players, plugins and expansive worlds or maps you have on the server, the higher this value needs to be. Use M for megabyte and G for gigabyte. I would recommend increasing this number if your server is laggy and slash or has issues running. Just make sure you don't add more than your computer can handle. Otherwise, that would be very, very bad. It's not actually that bad, don't worry. I'm going to give my server two gigabytes of RAM, like so. Save this file and then close it. Finally, rename whatever version of spigot.jar you have to just spigot.jar, so that it matches the name written in the run.bat file. Then run the run.bat file by simply double-clicking it, like so. A command window should open up, and after a short loading period, you should see DONE. Open up Minecraft and connect to localhost, like so. You should connect and be able to see yourself join from the server command line. Type slash plugins in chat and it will show you that there are no plugins installed. If you want to install plugins, simply download them. I'll leave a link to a site where you can find many popular ones. Stop your server and place them into the plugins folder inside your server folder. Just make sure they are compatible with the version of Minecraft you are running. You can see this on the website when you go to download them. For example, Essentials is not compatible with 1.8 or up, so you have to use a newer version called Essentials X if you want to use this plugin. As you can see, I've successfully installed Essentials X and World Edit onto my server. So now you want to get other people to join. Okay, so go to engrog.com and sign up for a free account. Free. Download engrog. Unzip it using a program like 7-zip, WinRAR or just Windows Explorer and run engrog.exe inside. Another command window, like the one the server is running in, should open up. Go back to the ngrog website and copy the auth token, without the dot or the forward slash, like so, and paste this into the ngrog command window. Finally, in the ngrog window, type ngrog tcp minus region and then your region. I'll show the available regions you can use on screen now. I'll type eu since I'm in Europe. Pretty fucking place. And then the number 255. Six, five. This screen should appear, saying that you're online. Copy the engrog IP next to forwarding, after, but not including, the tcp dot dot dash dash, like so, and paste this into Minecraft. This is what you'll give your friends so they can join from anywhere. You should be able to join like before. And there you have it, your very own free Minecraft server that you can install and use plugins on. Now with this, no girl oh will be able to keep their hands off you. And I know you'll be the bee's knees around school.